The Alternative Press Music Awards takes place Wednesday, July 22nd in Cleveland, Ohio. And following in the footsteps of last year's big show, it features bands such as Black Veil Brides, Pierce the Veil, Paramore, and hosts All Time Low. Producing the show is Josh Bernstein, who will be grasping the reins for Alternative Music's biggest publication for the second year. Josh's previous stints have included producing the Golden Gods Awards for Revolver magazine in years past. Artisan News sat down with Josh at his home in New Jersey, and he told us what to expect from this year's AP Awards. We also, talent-wise, kind of focused on like what I thought were the sweet spots of the show, or I think we all agreed, was like when All Time Low brought out uh, New Found Glory and um, Yellow Card. Uh, that was kind of a high watermark. It was a kind of a very, um, a really great moment of like camaraderie within uh, that music scene, but also I think it really uh, it hit a nostalgic sweet spot for those fans that um, uh, brought them back to maybe those were their first cassettes or CDs that they bought. So um, if you look at this year's bill, we kind of doubled down on that that scene, whether it be Sum 41, Simple Plan, New Found Glory, um, you know, Haley from Paramore, uh, really uh, Madden Brothers are coming, kind of really uh, dipped into that pool of that, this, you know, that nostalgia for you know, 2004. He talked about what he has planned with All Time Low for this year's event. They are, um, you know, the, I'll use a very dated reference, like, you know, the Abbott and Costello, the Martin Lewis, the Ronan Martin, whatever, of, of, of our current scenes. So, um, they play really well off of each other. And, you know, Mark Hoppus hosted the show last year and he was, he was wonderful and it was so, so great. Um, but not having that foil with Tom DeLong was, you know, I feel like it's nice having um, uh, someone to kind of play off of. You know, this is our year two, sh year two show. So having, you know, two hosts um, will, will, will be better. And I, I met with the guys about two weeks ago in Baltimore and uh, started going over some ideas and concepts and, um, the fans, the fans will not be disappointed. It, it, they'll be, they've already come up with some ideas and they're going to be very funny. They're going to play well off, off each other. We're going to write some good skits and um, I think it's going to flow very nicely and they, they will not disappoint. So what did he think was the best and the worst from last year's awards? Um, I think lighting and sound, you know, there's a couple. Uh, when, you're, when you have a show that starts in daylight and you have the, the sun there and all of a sudden the sun disappears and then, you know, you have to change up your lighting scheme, uh, that was something that... There was a couple moments where um, maybe certain players of the band were in a little bit of darkness. We could have improved upon that. Uh, we have a lot of, you know, one of our, our specialty is that we have a lot of um, special guest performers coming out and doing these once in a lifetime um, appearances. So maybe making sure the cameras are trained to get those people at the right moments and um, getting them on their stage entrance and getting that initial reaction. Um, flow wise, I thought it, w it went great, but again, like, from my side, it could have been tighter, you know, so I want to tighten it even more. Um, and uh, what we got right, I think, um, you know, we, we booked the right talent that made those fans very happy. We had uh, the orchestra there, which I thought was a unique touch um, that I don't think anyone really expected at, at, at a punk rock show. So uh, they'll, they're coming back and we're going to have them train for even longer amounts of time and prep them earlier. So um, that's going to be better. Um, having it indoors, the sound and lighting just will naturally be better. The APMAs take place July 22nd at Cleveland, Ohio's Quicken Loans Arena.